it's Jill with Crick Flex, and you're getting another view for filming t today. I have had so many different um, ways of setting up my camera, it's gotten kind of comical for me and probably for you all. Anyway, I, this was the best I could come up with that would give me even, even good a uh, access to what I needed. I'm going to show you how I'm taking some um, die cuts that I've done and I am going to emboss them using embossing uh, powders and a heat gun. I'm doing the color yellow right now and I'm using a letter medium pen. Um, normally I use the, um, let me get that one out, the Versamite is what I normally would use, but I use this more on stamps. And the Versamite my pen is what I used when I was doing other things that I couldn't, wasn't using a stamp. However, when I went to the store, I could not find it. These, again, I use with rubber stamps. I am going to start using those more um, on my pieces because I want to change it up a little bit. So what I do with the pen is it's got a it, it, plain color tip on it, where, which has got the, like the Versamite on it. It's actually the medium that I'm using. And I'm using the color yellow right now. So I'm just coloring in the areas of the yellow that I want on this particular die cut. Then I have this little dish here that I use to catch the extra, <gasps> the extra half bottle that I just poured in there. I'm through with the yellow, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this back in here. These, these little dishes are essential when you're using um, any kind of glitter, embossing glitters or powders. I have both glitter and powders and the inks that I have had sitting in here doing nothing. And then I decided, um, I don't, whoops, I'm kicking that, sorry. And then I have a heat gun, which you can get at any, any craft store, you can get these guns. My husband went out yesterday and bought a heat gun for refinishing furniture and stuff for what he's doing. And I thought he, I, I saw it and I thought, why did you get a heat gun? I have one. But then when he told me what he was going to do with it, and I turned it on, I thought, oh, I couldn't use that in my die cuts. My die cuts would melt. Now, when I'm when I'm using the heat gun on it, I can see, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but I can see the melting of the powder, and it becomes a solid. Now, I did not such a good job on this one, because before you stamp or color, you actually should be using... It's a little uh, pocket, and if I can figure out where mine is, I haven't used this stuff in so long, it's ridiculous, and i got to figure out where my little pillow is. It's a little that you, blunt, you dab on it so the powder doesn't stick in other areas. I'll show it on another video because I'm going to be doing some more of these um, and showing you different things you can do. Um, and what I should have done before I melted it all was take my little brush and wipe it off the extra powder and I didn't and once it's on there it's on there for good what I'm going to do is I am going to take some silver I want some silver and I think this will this will work and I'm going to go around on this little guy's crown or he's got a bottle cap on his head not a crown but he wears it like a crown and see if I can cover up the mistake I made Let's see how that goes. And I keep kicking the uh, tripod that my camera's on, which you're probably getting seasick watching me. You're just getting sick. I tell you what, guys, um, we are in the middle of closing up our pool and tearing, putting away everything that we use in the summer. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think I said on another video that we were closing up the pool, so we let all the kids take a... I think I may have deleted that. We let all the kids take a bath in the pool, and they thought that was just the most awesome thing to do. Now we're closing it today, and my husband is putting away everything that's summer out there. Oops, I forgot to dump that back in. So, I am quickly shifting gears into 
the fall and winter holidays. Um, I have decorated my house uh, with my Halloween already, my fall, my Halloween, everything. Um, people that know me and have watched me over the years know that I'm kind of out there in the middle of, I just, when I do things like that, I just always overdo it. But that's who I am, and that's how I do it, and I'm having fun, so who cares? My kids love it. My, my grandkids love it. Um, my husband yesterday went to Home Depot, or a couple days ago, went to Home Depot. I'm doing the green now because on the top of this lid, the lid, pop lid, pop, top, whatever it is, is green. So I'm putting the green on there. Um, anyway, my husband went to Home Depot and he calls me on the phone. doesn't call me. He FaceTimes me. And he shows me these, these, um... One was a skeleton, and the other one was a wolf. Um, things that that are s scary. Uh, they're about six foot, more than six foot tall when they're standing up. They're humongous, and he really wanted it for the grandkids. I I'm telling you, my kids always are laughing and saying, "Yeah, we didn't have that when we were kids." And I say, "Well, you know, we saved it for grandkids." But the thing is just huge, and he and he and he scrunched over. And when you plug him in and turn him on, he stands up and his eyes light up, and he makes all this noise and everything. And we did it. We had little Blakey last night, and um, he was terrified. He said, "I have no light, no light. Turn it off," you know. But then when he came over this morning, or last night when they went to came, came to pick him up, we took care of him last night when the mommy and daddy came to pick him up. He wanted to show daddy the monster. But he got real far away, and he said, okay, hit it. And after it went once, my my grandson said, okay, turn it off. You know, Daddy saw it now, turn it off. It was just so cute. But um, my husband just absolutely loves that. And I'm so, it's so awesome that he shares that, that with me. So when I'm doing all this decorating two months before the holiday, he is right there with me. Not today, he's out there packing up the yard. But as far as like buying or, or digging out, he dug out. That's what he did. He got out. We have an attic in our garage, and he went up there and got all of the decorations out. When I got home from visiting my mom, he goes, look what I did. And they look, and there's all the Halloween stuff. And so I think that he was saying, why don't you go ahead and decorate? Because it's really fun. So I did, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. But it is early, and... I decorate for Christmas in November. Um, I absolutely, I suppose I should do this where I, you can see. I'm hoping you can see some of this melting on there as it starts to. Now, this is the glitter versus the powder. And this is for the little cherries on the, on this headpiece that the, um, this dog has on. And I did a little gold. I hope you can see. I just did do little bits. I used glossy in the eyes, a little gold here. Because on this bucket that he has on his head, it kind of had some gold or rusty looking things on it. And he had a key in his hand and the keychain. So I put it all on that. I took the this guy and put black and yellow and orange and every color on him. Again, I'm hoping you can see these. That they, It's really fun to do. However, um, I'm doing these because I'm working on my scrapbook pages for my grandkids. Oops, I forgot to dry this one. Did I? No, I want to put some red on this. Um... I, we're going to be doing some layouts. Uh, I've been just, <laughs> I have all this free time. I feel like I have all this free time, but yet I feel like I have no free time. Go figure. You know, because my kids, kids are all in school full time now. So I don't have that. Um, and my mother doesn't live here any longer and I, I go to visit her, but it, it's different when she was living with us. It was, I had to do more. So now I have all this time and I, I'm, can't get myself doing anything. I'm awful. I put TV on in my office and the Gilmore Girls um, was seven seasons, which I would imagine was like seven years. I don't know how they do it, but anyway, I thought I'd turn that off. Anyway, I um, watched that in a matter of, I don't know, less than a week. I wonder why my phone won't turn off. But anyway, um, I'm going to add some more to these and uh, 
I will be filming some scrapbook pages. So I will be back. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Jill with Crickflix. And tonight I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Um, I've got some pieces here that I'm just finishing up. And pretty much everything I'm going to be doing is a little bit different. First thing I'm going to tell you, these are six center pieces of the Divine Digital Diva um, files uh, of the little baby boys and girls. I got all the boxes ready. These boxes I get from Uline, and I've got them in three sizes. They come in four inch, five inch, and six inch. And they're a little bit different than the other ones I show you in the fact that the, the, the lid and everything is all in one. I put a piece of wood on the back of the lid on the top to weight it down to hold the centerpiece. And they fold up just like the other boxes I use. And they're great. Love them. Um, the lids I don't use on the other ones. I use the lids just as bases. But I use these boxes as bases. Whoops. Fold it up wrong. So I'm just going to fold one up. And there we go. And this box, or this wood, is drilled through here. Um, put my sides in. Now, your sides... Ideally, your wood is not going to be longer or wider than this opening when you have your flaps down so that that goes in, the wood goes in and fits between them. That's the ideal way to do. However, um, I am not going to tell my husband to please make sure he cuts these a specific size because he just chops me a bunch of blocks and it's not horrible if they don't fit, if they don't, because this will just push the. Um, this piece of wood, if these are wider, the wood will just push them down. So, no big deal. And actually, the piece should be put on prior to closing the box. But you know what? I'm going to finish this piece before I put anything in there. I'm going to do something different on this one. So, first thing I'm going to do is get my curly hair. And get my black one. Yep, I'm going to use my black here. Maybe my, yeah, I'll use the black one. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I'm going to put her ruffles on her butt, which right here are some ruffles. And a lot going on here that I'm going to be doing. I don't know how many videos I'm going to turn it into, but stay with me here. Okay. I should have gone up higher. This is a really thick, heavy ruffle. So I'm going to go up a line. I'm not going to start it there. It's too long. And I'm also going to fold it back so I do not have the raw edge of the ruffle. I'm on it finished. So I'm going to fold it back, and then I'm going to go all the way around. No, am I? She's not done on the... Yep. Yep. This is ruffle that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think I've mentioned numerous times that I get pretty much all my ruffles from Hobby Lobby. His foot is there, so maybe I shouldn't go all the way around. Nope, I'm going to end it here. Let me cut this. And I want to leave a little bit, about a half an inch or so um, longer so that I can fold it back when I glue it down so it's, it's finished. Okay, and I didn't do it quick enough and my glue dried. So, that's how long I folded it back. There we go. And these, this is for a baby shower for... A, the obvious set of twins, boy and girl. Um, and oh my gosh, did I ever get glue on me that time? Okay, let me put the second one on. As I was saying in my last video, or maybe it was on the same one that I'm just starting, I don't remember, that uh, I get really, really, really sad when the summer's over and the all my backyard, my hot tub and my deck and I mean everything that we set up, not our hot tub pool, everything that we get set up for the summer, I just love and when the grass is green and all the flowers and I just, oh, 
I absolutely love it. Now that fall is entering, of course, it's time to close up the pool and empty out the, the flower pots, all the ones that are already passed away. And <laughs> what I did this year, because I just wasn't ready, just simply was not ready. Oh, I love those ruffles. Oh, those are adorable. Wait, see what I'm going to do to her hair. Um, anyway, so in order to combat my overwhelming sadness of the summer being over, um, I jump right into the fall, the Halloween, the everything. I just, and it's only September, and I've already got my house. Uh, I've got so many decorations in it, it looks like a shop. It's crazy. My husband's like, you're out of your mind. But what had happened was over the years, especially when my mother was living with me, I started to not do it because it was just too much work. And it was in that between my mother and working. Because um, I didn't retire. I think, how long has it been now? Well, right after I retired is when I moved my mother in. And um, as much as I think it was the best thing I could have done, it hasn't been the easiest thing I should, could have done. So... Everything kind of went by the wayside, um, and now she's living at home. She, and by the way, everybody who's been asking, she is doing a lot better. The medications that they have her on to kind of calm down her her um, agitation and her paranoia and all of that has it's finally kicking in. Um, I've been up there. I've been up there the last few days, it, taking kids up to visit and stuff. And she's doing so much better. I mean, she's she's never going to be good. I'm never going to be able to say, oh, she's just doing fantastic because dementia is not something that there's a cure for. So, but I'm just happy to say that that she is doing better and not so scared and living in fear. Guys, what I'm doing here is I'm taking embossing powder, and the one that I'm using is Stampin' Stuff. Um, Stampin', to, I'm trying to think where I got it, my powders. I think probably at Michael's, but Michael's or Hobby Lobby, either, anywhere has them, you order them online. And you put down the little bit of Versamite pan that I was using, then what I'm doing is taking a heat gun and I just go over it, and it, it it melts it and makes it shiny. And I'm using this for an accent on the hair. It, it pops out a whole lot more. And I had totally forgotten about even having this. And so when I saw it... Um, this is the thing is is I'm I'm a type of person when I find something new and and start using it like as a matter of fact I ran into somebody at Michael's the other day and I overheard her trying to decide what machine to get and I sure hope I didn't offend her because I got in the, the conversation the shy side of me stepped out of her comfort zone and proceeded to tell tell the woman the differences between the 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 the, um, st the <laughs> cameo I can't even talk because I'm trying to do too much at once here um, and the cricket and having been a user of the cricket and the cameo I'm speaking from experience and I'm not just saying something just to hear myself talk which I'm sure a lot of you think that's what I do anyway but I promise you I'm not and so um, I want to get a lot on this piece here she ended up getting the cameo but um i don't know how i went there guys how did i get there i just all of a sudden but so i started going through all of my stuff and decided i am not doing these pieces to their to, to what i would say the different things you can do to make them so different and decided that I was going to show using the um, the 
paint or the <laughs> I can't even oh embossing powder I used it for salt and this is what I used to put all the extra in so I can dump it back in my jar and guys um, it's not I did realize because I'm paying attention when I'm speaking like to my husband and trying to I was getting very nervous about how forgetful I'm getting Guys, it isn't that I'm getting that for forgetful. It's that I'm talking and doing something at the same time. And people say, you really can't multitask. And um, it it is really hard when I'm trying to do something else because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. And I realized that the other day when I was driving. And I think I was talking on the phone. And I have decided I cannot talk on the phone and drive because I invariably end up lost. Not, I missed, not lost. I lost. I take that back. Bad choice of words. I missed my turn. And I always end up not where I'm supposed to be. I lost my brushes to clean out my tray. So I ended up going to Michael's and picking up some brushes. I do paint as well, guys. I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a jack of all trades. So I just picked up some brushes to use um, that are all taped down. Put the tape up here for cleaning my tray out. I don't want to mix my color of my pens up. So you watch me wrangle this brush out. Come on. I thought that that was a nice little tray that they were in and wouldn't fall out. That's not the case. And I'll take them all out and put them in a, put them in a, put them in something. I don't know what yet, but put them in something. You want to make sure your tray doesn't have any of the powder left in it because it will end up on your next project. Lid. I'll do the other side yet, but I am thinking of doing some brown in with that because there's some really light color mixed in that. I'm going to try that and see. Who knows? What I'm going to be doing is using actual stamping um, on some of this. My daughter, I had given all my embossing powders and stamps to in hopes that she would use her young creative mind and come up with something to do, but I wasn't patient enough. And so I took her back and said, I'll do it myself. But I forgot to get the tons of stamps that I have. Let me see. What color is this? I want to put something lighter in here just as an accent in his hair. Then I'm going to do something to her hair. Let's see how this works. It sure does make it a lot more. It stands out a lot more. Did you see how much I, I almost put that in the bottle? And Carol, you had mentioned, you know, about how sometimes I'm going to put a different word in than you did. And I know I absolutely, without a doubt, you did not mean it in how I'm going to put it. But when I'm talking and flaking, I have no idea what's going on around me. Um, you had mentioned something. And I want you to know I do listen to everything that you say. But with me, some of the times when you see things and, you, and I get all wrapped up around myself, that's how I've always been. That's the thing, too, is I need to stop being so hard on myself and thinking it's that um, something's happening. It's not. I've always been that way. I've been a flake forever. And it's okay with me. I'm just going to add some lighter highlights. And I think that might be a little too bold. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. I might have to put some black over it. Or I just have to get used to it. That's what I'm going to have to do. But I do like those embossing powders. I really do. I like them a lot. And this looks like nothing. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put some curly. See, she's got the... the, the, the this type of curl that I absolutely love on the pigtails. With the hair's more ringlets rather than just, I don't know what I want to call it. 
I don't know what, but on this one, this hair goes great. So, I used to use this all the time. Guys, believe it or not, years ago, I used to do um, craft fairs, and I made things out of wood and then painted them, but just holiday things, scarecrows and, and Christmas Santas and things like that. And I used to make little carolers, and I used this hair, and I absolutely, totally forgot about it, and I loved it. So I've decided she needs that hair just to make it different. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm loving it. And then I'm just going to add right in the middle some random glue because I'm just going to drop it on there. It does not have to be glued down a little piece at a time. And you really shouldn't push on it when the glue is still wet. Because that's what's happening to me now. There we go. And I don't want it smashed down. Now look at that little ball of curls up there versus this one. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The only thing I'm going to have to change this. I'm not crazy about that color. I might just ink over it. That's what I think I'll try first. So... But when you're putting the curl on, I would recommend you start with pulling from the first. Don't just grab the whole thing of hair. You're going to want to want, want to pull it by strand. Because otherwise, if you pull it in as a ball, you're, you'll, you're going to end up knotting the whole thing. It's kind of not that easy to work with. So... But I do think it's going to be adorable. I'm just putting it in the very, very middle. It does not need to be um, outside on these little curls because those are just fine the way they are. And maybe if I put this on to pat it down. There we go. That way. And I don't care if a few are hanging down. That's totally, totally fine. <gasps> that is that cute? I love it. Now, I need to put some bows here. Which I think I'm going to use this little pink rosettes here. And yes, I like to add a lot of embellishments. It just makes it. There we go. Yeah, that side. Oh, let me see if I can... No, nope, I'll fix that later. <gasps> yep, I do like the hair. Now, let me see on this side. I didn't do the other ruffle yet. What did I do with it? I put it away. I thought it went all the way around, and I didn't. Did I do this one? Yeah, so I went twice on that. What did I do? I don't know how I did that. Guys, I don't know how I did it. But I did it wrong, because I forgot to do the other side. Okay, and here we go, and fold it back. Guys, I told you I've been watching the Gilmore Girls, and just absolutely love that show. Well, I finished all of it. That's how obsessed I was with it. And in a matter of a week, I think I watched the entire eight years worth, or seven years, but loved it. Now I'm going on round two watching it again. It reminds me so much of my daughters and I. I can relate to Lorelai so much and to her daughter um, and all, and, my, and mother, everything. Of course, my mother wasn't uh, uh, in this particular show. The mother and dad have a, a bottomless pit of wealth. Um, I didn't have that background, but I can relate to kind of some of the things that go on with her and her mother. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so us. But Love it, love it, love it, and I recommend it to anybody who has a, a daughter or daughters. I have, I ha happen to have two daughters, but I love it. I don't think it was done so well. Everybody's got different tastes, but I like the sappy ones. I'm a sap. So, let me do the hair on this one. Grab one strand, if I can. See what I mean? If you don't pull it by the strand, you get a knot, and that's what you don't want. 
It's caught on my fingernail because it's got a little piece of glue on it. Okay. Now. And these bags look really, really tiny, but there is a lot of hair in here because you have to stretch it out. And there we go. And there we go. And again, I'm used to working with this stuff because I did it for years and used it. So I know how it works. And there we got her little curly. And, and they have this in every color. Oh, I would love to do a brave because I got the red hair too. I got all the colors. But um, there's like six. Red, black, brown, dark brown, dark red, light red. <clears throat> I think I said blonde. Um, you can get them in any craft store, I believe. I think I got mine at... Hobby Lobby, I do believe. I think. I don't know. I might have gotten them at Michael's. Um, and they're actually in the, the plastic dolls where they make your own doll. Um, they're not in the craft area. But see, this bag, this little tiny bag. <laughs> Sorry, little girl. She got caught. Oh, did I not cut a string? I didn't cut a string. That lost hair that hangs in your face. <gasps> I do like these curls, guys. I think I'm liking it a lot. Okay. And then we're going to take this one. And I think I might have to, after this, is restart my camera. I am sure of it. Again, I'm only putting glue in the center. I'm not putting anything on the curls on the outside there. I do not want those covered with the hair. Not necessary. And I don't know if that one's going to... So just to make sure. There we go. Done. And then in her hair, I want to put, I think I'll use these. I'm going to use an actual rose from this trim and put that. I'm going to cut off. It's got a little bit of a mesh going around it. Kind of like a tool. I might cut that off and just just use the rows on here. There we go. And so I'm just going to shut this off and start it over again because I think it might get too long, guys. Oh, and I'm going to show you two that I have done. I want an opinion before I ship this. I'm going to upload it and see what people think. Now. What I'm going to show you, I want you to keep in mind a table that might be a dessert table, a main, a main spot where you want that centerpiece to really pop out. You want, for some reason, you just, whatever it is that it's being used for, um, a lot of people have one area that is particularly special. So, I did something. I showed my husband, he said, uh... He wasn't crazy about the idea, uh, but he's a man. He's, he doesn't have my vision. <laughs> a lot of people don't. But I'm going to show you and what I'm going to do. Cut that piece off. I'm going to stop this and finish up what I'm doing here. And then I will restart and finish the film. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did get the the hair figured out on the other one. Um, this is a different a different pose, of little boy and little girl. Can't see the blue real well here, but you can see it enough that that's all good. So what I'm going to do on her is her hair again, and get these out of the way. Okay. 
I'll tell you. Ah, there we go. Sometimes I get such a messed up group of hair. That's enough there. Um, there we go. My mother, uh, for updates on her, anybody who's been following me, um, it is going a little bit better. Her meds are finally showing it's helping. She, she is getting better. Um, it's just figuring out what they need to give her to keep her from getting all agitated, depressed, and aggressive. And she's just, every emotion that there is, she's gone through. Um, it's been really hard. I, I try and go up as often as I can. Uh, I went up yesterday and took Isabel with me. And while we were there, they had a shooting, two shootings in Madison um, on Thursday, which is one hour. Yeah, Thursday. And I happened to have my, my granddaughter Isabel with me. And my daughter literally, oh, I thought that was just back and it was his head. I didn't take enough hair. Um, my daughter was freaking out because the second shooting um, was, they thought, it originally was on the news, that they thought it was in high school. And uh, of course, everybody freaks out with that. These, these horrible, horrible shootings that are happening all the time. And the one that they had earlier in the day on the other side of town was they thought gang related and so they thought the two were related and my daughter of course just absolutely freaked out because I was at the corner uh, at where it happened and when I had gotten to my mother's apartment I heard all these sirens going off so I stood outside for a while wondering because they didn't seem to be moving. I could hear hear the sirens going and but they were stopped then and, and then I got one up and I didn't say a lot, anything to my mother about it because it would just scare her and I just thought it was really strange because the, the sirens went on. There was tons of them. I mean it was just it, it was, I don't even know how many were there. And then I went to go downstairs to see what was going on, or take my daughter, my granddaughter, to meet mommy for uh, her ballet classes, and they were in lockdown. And of course, my daughter was just, oh, she said, I'm coming to get to get Isabel. And I said, Well, it makes no sense for you to come in here. We're in lockdown. You, you know, they would let her in and let her take my granddaughter. But I said, inside here, I'm in the inside, and all the doors are locked. Nobody's going to get in. The guy, whoever the shooter was, was running on foot, foot and they were in pursuit. And these people, when they're in, on foot like that, like to run to facilities that have signs up saying, no guns. And... Um, so they were pretty worked up about it, but I think they caught him pretty quickly, if I remember right. I don't, there was another one that had been on the other side of town, and there was four folks that were shot, and thank God they, are, they all made it. Nobody was killed, uh, other than the shooter. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on in this world. It's just, it's so unbelievably sad because I just don't get it. I don't get the reason behind it. Um, why anybody, anybody would want to hurt somebody like that. I mean, I, I understand being mad and fighting. It's not, I don't think everybody necessarily, you know, you fight, siblings fight. It doesn't mean much, but boy, I don't, I don't get the shootings. Just don't get that route at all. Never will and never want to. I never want to understand it. Because that means if I understand it, I condone it. I don't. And you know, I, I hear so much. Every time there's a, something like that tragic going on, so many folks, or so many, I, on Facebook and stuff, they, they, um, you know, you get on TV and you find this guy that did the shooting and they start pulling his family background and 
you know, this was happened and this happened and people did this and this and this. And you know, every single one of us, I don't care who we are, there's something in our past that, I shouldn't say every one of us, I don't know anybody that hasn't had something in their past that was not pleasant. You know, it, it, there's so many things that could have happened to anybody. And to use that as your excuse to go and shoot or somebody let you go from a job that you weren't doing or whatever. I cannot come up with any reason why people do what they do like that. Uh, thankfully, though, I said the two that were shot, they were, not, they were in critical condition, but they were not. Um, they made it. Everything is, they may still be in, I mean, they don't go from critical to, okay, walk, walk out, they're, they're, but they made it. They did not die. And, but again, those shootings happened probably an hour, maybe two hours apart from one another. And the shooter on the one that they apprehended or, or ended up shooting, that a shootout with him, he had some tattoos on that they thought were gang related. So that's why they thought the second shooting was, but... I don't believe it turned out. That was an accident. It turns out that the... I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. I think it's horrible. Um, but it turned out to be that he had taken a gun to school. And when he caught the bus to go home, he had accidentally shot himself in the thigh. Um, how he ever got into school, or why would he carry a gun into school is beyond me. <gasps> you guys, I'm loving, loving, loving this curly for the hair. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this one's got a tulle skirt on, as you can already see, and glittered little ballet slippers, and then some really neat, they, the ribbons at Hobby Lobby. It's the only place I go to get them. But this is like a crocheted ribbon in cotton, and then it's got some, um, that looks almost like baker's twine wove, woven through it, and then some silver uh, ribbons that um, Jenna did. And then these little white flowers. There was a sale at Hobby Lobby on Friday and it was 50% off of all of the the studio stuff which is their brand and I mean a haul there they the, but these kinds of things they have there um, which one was this on it was oh the uh, wedding that was in the wedding stuff okay now I've got her done and I did the boxes um, alternating blue and pink because there's three of each well yeah I think they're all double yeah so I did blue and pink, pink alternating the boxes the glitter on them and and actually using these boxes as the base rather than just the lid makes them taller because this is two foot and then you add on five inches so they stand very very high and i am loving those ponytails ah, i forgot to do his back side of his hair that's okay um i'll go back to that i'm going to do this one quick um this one needs something on it so i'm going to use these little puff balls on her skirt it's a little too plain for me so, I think I'm going to put an add puff ball right there. These are tulle, made from tulle, these, these little flora, floral flower, flowers are made of tulle, and then they've got some gem right in the very center. And guys, I am filming from all over the place, and the filming is going to be determined on my mood. I, I, if I'm working on a scrapbook page, I will try and remember to film more direct down on the page. Um, I said I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything. And the, unfortunately, for some of you that are a little bit more organized, because I've gotten the, the organi organized, uh, about being more organized, I've gotten that lecture numerous times. Um, you know, making notes and doing things, not only from some viewers also, but from my husband. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, 
there's some things that are part of our nature and it's part of who we are and how we are and it, you just can't change it. I have tried every measure as suggested to me to make me more personal or more um, organized, like writing things down, like all sorts of things. What it does for me is the way that my brain works is it confuses me worse if I try um, and change the way I do things. And I, I was trying it recently because everybody said, oh, you get so much more done if you just do it this way. You know, and everybody's a critic and got all the answers. And I'm not talking about my viewers. I'm ta talking about my family members. My viewers out there, I'm not going to browbeat for that. However, my family does. And my husband. And after 44 years, you would think that he would know that some things just physically are not possible to do. They're just not. Um, our brains work a certain way. We've got right brain, left brain, no brain. It's the way they work. And I appreciate the encouragement and the ideas and the, you know, trying to um, make it easier for me. The easiest thing for me to do is let me do it the way I do it. And don't worry about it. It's just it's the way it is. And I'm more productive when I do it my way. I don't get much done, and somehow it's it's night, it's evening now, and I told my husband, sometimes I, no, not sometimes, all the time, my, per, my, my um, creative juices peak at, at uh, night, and then all of a sudden, the minute that it's dark out, I can concentrate on what I'm doing, and I don't know what it is. And nor am I going to spin my wheels trying to figure it out. It's just that's the way it is. I, that's why sometimes I used, oh, I used to stay up all night, all the time. I don't do that anymore. But I do stay up later than I should because this is when I can be the most creative. It's quiet. There's no phone ringing. Watch my phone ring now. There's no doorbell ringing. And I do better. So that's... It is. Okay. Now, what else have I done on her that might be a little different? I I really oh, I think that that curly hair on those pigtails. Um, I'm hoping you can see it really clear. I will take some really good pictures. Um, I'll do a couple more. Oh, I just think that is so cute. I really like that. See how everything is getting knotted up in here? Then it gets very, very hard to pull that, pull it out. But these bags really have a lot, a lot of hair in them. There's a lot of pieces you can do with these. But it is a pain when it knots up on you. I don't know why that, I don't, why I don't think there's much I can do about it. Like I said, I used to use this when I made my wood crafts. I used it a lot. I made little carolers. They were made out of wood, and I had a whole ton of fake, not fake, real fur, that, fur coats, that I would never in a million years wear a fur coat. I don't know how I got them, I don't remember, but I used them and cut them up and made, made, the coats and hats and hand muffs for carolers that were cut out of wood and then painted. And this is what I used for their hair. They were the cutest thing and people would custom order them um, on however many people they had in their family. So it would be like the mom, a dad, uh, two boys and a girl, whatever it was that they had. They, they got to order how they wanted and then there was a street lamp and on the where the, the name of the street, I had it set up that it, I would put their family name on it. And they, I went to, a, I did a show at some fairgrounds. The first first show I did with those carolers um, sold out by noon. <laughs> and 
it was on the first day of the show and it was a two day show. So my when I got home, my daughters and I stayed up almost the entire night making because I had nothing for the show the next day. It was fun, but but I got out of those crafts quite a while ago. When I went into started working in internet support, I went decided my kids were old enough now that they were on school, so I worked outside the house after that. Okay. One more blob. Yeah, not going to go on those. And see, it doesn't even look like I used any. The bag doesn't look any different than these bags. It honestly goes a long way. These are the colors. I don't know if there's anything else available. Um, pretty much this is all they had when I used it years ago. It's a dark brown, a dark blonde. This has kind of got an or a red tint to the blonde, and this is more on the ash tint to the blonde, then a redhead. And I think that's about all you would have for colors anyway. So. That's how I do those. Probably shouldn't have showed it because now I'll see that everywhere. We're opening a uh, new shop that is going to be pretty much... I know I keep threatening guys, but every time I say, okay, let's do it, we're ready, because we are ready, um, it just... They're not ready. Not not ready. They're up to the whites of their eyes with something. You know, which I remember those days when my kids were little. A little flowers. I'm going to put another little one in the middle. And then I'm going to put the little gem in the center of that. And these gems are also from Hobby Lobby. I like the ones that are not rope. It's it's a uh, yep yep yep. I'm liking it. Okay, I have these little ones that are done. That the little the little skirts on them are, are, are satin, and it's kind of a cinched satin, and then has another um, ribbon here to finish it off. The pearls on it. I'm going to put some little bows in her hair, but I'm not going to do her hair because her hair is more of the puff, um, little puff balls. And so I am not going to mess with that. There's two of those, so I'm going to put a different kind of flower on them. And I think that I am done. I don't have anything else to do on these. I, I am putting them on. All of them are going on the boxes. I will take a picture of all of them when they're all done, which I'm just about there looking for the flowers with the little beads in the middle and just using one and seeing if I have another one with beads. And I do like these flowers. These are studio. I don't, I, yeah, I'm sure that these are paper studio from Hobby Lobby. Although I did go to Michael's yesterday to get some stuff that I needed, and I came back with a bunch of Halloween stuff. My house looks like a Halloween shop. My seven-year-old grandson walked in today, and he goes, you already decorated for Halloween? He's seven. I was like, yeah, just get out of the way. Don't tell me. Just get out of the way. I, and um, my husband turned the big monster on for him to see, and the little t stinker looks at it and goes, oh yeah, that's real scary. Seven-year-old. I wanted to pop them in the chops. That's what you get when you're seven. And, okay, I want to make sure nothing fell off. I am done, and I will get working next. I've got a scrapbook page coming up, and a couple other different things. But I decided I'll do them all different videos. Everyone have a nice night. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.